Hey friends, this is the Ms. Wolfie from Our Half Acre Homestead with Edition Series Part 3. I just, I just got to show you guys this. This is my phone. Call me. Hang on. So that's what you've been doing all day. Yep. Your theme song is now a ringtone. My ringtone. Alrighty. Well, Saturday morning. I got Bev thought I should show you how to frame walls, but uh, you know, it's pretty simple, especially that wall. It's no windows. This one. Um, building for the front wall. I'm building everything in eight foot sections and then tying it all together because it's pretty much just me and uh, they're a lot easier to lift when they're smaller. Anyway, this one I'm getting prepared. Uh, it's in there pretty good. I got uh, two two by six pieces for the top header. So I'm gonna put a piece of 5 8 plywood in there to, to flatten it all out nice. Uh, the window opening is for 23 inch window by uh, 60. So the hole is a little bit bigger to accommodate. Low expanding foam. And to be able to shim it and make it nice and square so it opens and closes. Uh, I have the vapor barrier that came across the floor. Uh, got some moisture in it from this morning, but that'll all dry out. Vapor barrier that's continuously across the floor, underneath, under the, the sill, and it will be tied into the vapor barrier going up the wall. So it'll be a real nice, nice and neat uh, enclosed vapor barrier. In here, somebody's got some not very <laughs> good vapor barrier, but that doesn't matter because this is all coming out. And we will tie into, there is a little piece I can grab right there of the vapor barrier from the house. So that's good. We'll, uh, we'll do the best we can with that. Uh, okay, and that's pretty much it. Alrighty, we have one wall of the pantry up. And I got the other one built. We just got to tie it into the house. I got our six by six beam running the distance of the room. I box this up. There's three or two by sixes in there, boxed on either side and tied into the original beam that runs through the house. So it's good and solid on this side. And on this side, I also boxed it up with three two by sixes and then uh, yeah tied it all in nice and tight at the top I like it I gotta get that so I can get the roof joists going this week so I'm on my floor for the first time because <laughs> Daddy cut a hole for me. Now that's this whole wall is gonna go out, folks. And uh, Daddy is already putting up the first truss. I don't know how he's gonna manage it. I'd like to help, but he made these studs 16 inch on center, and uh, I'm in jail. I can't get out of here. I can't get through. So. Do you want me to take a two by four and push up or something? Your corner is out out the wall there. You sure you don't want me to push up this end with a two by four? We should have had a roof raising. So all along this wall is going to be my canning shelves. And right there is going to be where daddy is, is going to be the door. And it's going to open against the wall that he's about to walk through. And on that wall, is going to be my coat rack and my big freezer is going to be right here 
Wow, how much more work it is when you're just one person, eh? Like if there was like even two of you, this would... I still say you think, I think you should let me help. I got to help. I got to use that two by four to push that gusset and that gusset up over the two, over the uh, wall frames for daddy. I wish I could do more. <laughs> Here he comes folks. Brilliant. You're absolutely brilliant. Lean it. Ho oh, ho. Good job, Papa. One. <laughs> One. One terrific truss. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so you got the first truss up. Yay! One's up. Now, those two by four spacers, how far how many of them do you need? I may put one at the top, dead nut center, but that's about it. They're at eight foot, so the sheets will uh, the sheets will meet on the eight foot. That's it. Awesome. Um, Howie, I was about to ask where's my window, but we don't have one on this side, do we? Well, I'm gonna give the camera to you so you can just. Give me no windows for a while. Alrighty. Well, I got some sheathing up and uh, I got my roof the shingles all uh, stripped back so when it's time to start shingling and tar papering uh, I'll just be able to slip them right in and uh, hopefully you won't even see the seam anyway when I loaded the truck I loaded the half inch underneath 7 16 so I decided to start putting some sheets up. I'm not going to cut any windows or anything until uh, I get the roof all on and then we'll uh, we'll cut out the window holes later. I got the the truss on the inside built so that's all in place and that's that. I can't get out there so folks I'm just gonna have to oh my goodness so you've got part of the roof on these trusses and that's going to help keep things dry now. Your tools and stuff. I'm sorry I'm doing this through the window folks but as you can see Papa's got all the trusses up there. They're not all in place but he is bound and bent that the shingles are going to be the roof and the shingles are going to be on this weekend. Well folks Papa's up on the uh, roof and uh i guess i'm gonna have to do the uh, update holy crap honey good work and that ladies and gentlemen is how how does it